What's going on, everybody? TG here, back with another video. Guys, before we start this video, all I gotta ask you to do is just please hit that subscribe button. It means a ton to me. We also have a Discord in the link below if you wanna join and talk to me and get some first class advice straight from the Meister himself um, and a lot of other good investors as well in that chat. Uh, but let's jump right into this video, guys. Jamia, it's all about Jamia right now, and we are selling lots of puts on Jamia, $14,000 worth to be exact, and we collected $3,890 worth of premium. Whew, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of money on that premium, but let's go ahead and look at why we are selling so many. So Jamia, obviously today took a bit of a hit, not gonna lie, took a bit of a hit. As you guys can see, dropping 12 point. 13.5%, a little up a little bit after hours. Um, but took a big hit today, <clears throat> as you guys can clearly see. 14,000 in cash collateral, not bad, kind of bad, but not bad. Um, but look at how much those value of those puts are. 4,155, you minus that from the 265. $3,890 in premium for those puts. And some of those puts are out of the money. 26 puts for May. We have a 30 put for May. We got over 1,000 for that one. And the 29 puts for February. We got some good money, good premium for those. Now, <clears throat> the more I read about it, the more I like this company. I really do think that this company has a big chance to do something big. Let's go ahead and look at this for a second. What we're looking at here, essentially, is all the different moats that um, Jamia has in Africa. Now, that is a very small amount right there. Only 0.6% of the e-commerce penetration for that market in Africa. <clears throat> That's an extremely small penetration. The more that goes up, their profit margins are going to go through the roof. You see here, these are the different things that they have. They have their Jamia, their e-commerce. Okay, and this is like their Amazon.com. They have their logistics, their shipping. Okay, they have Jamia Logistics and Jamia Express. Also great, they're shipping it themselves. They're cutting out that middleman and doing it themselves. I like that a lot. Now let's talk this right here, Jamia Pay. This is going to be huge for the company. This is unprofitable right now, hasn't made any money for the company. So when it starts to make money, which it probably will, can soon affect how successful all of these are. We look at some of these ones right here, Amazon Pay and Alipay. These are big things, especially Alipay. Um, right here with this little ant thing that they're working with. <clears throat> that has made so much money for the company. Think of it like PayPal. They're trying to do their own type of PayPal thing. It's going to be big. They also have a lending program as well, which is huge. Okay, and then they have their food and their on-demand delivery. Another big thing, their Uber Eats. They're really taking over the African market right now. And like I said, Africa is a developed, underserved continent right now, but it's on the rise. The internet <clears throat> is getting bigger and bigger and bigger there. And it's only growing. You know, there's the, the country is developing at a very fast rate. People look at it and they don't realize how much it's actually advanced and how many rich countries there are in Africa. And Jamia is becoming one of the big players in that part. So the bigger it gets, the more it goes. And if we look at it, like I said, we look at Jamia and its market cap. Did I know how to spell? No, I don't. That's okay. I'm not an English teacher. I'm an investor. Um, struggling a little bit right now, as you guys can clearly see. Down a lot. Uh, 2.25 billion market cap. That's really, really low. That's really low for the company. Um, but you know what? That's a lot of upside potential. So you look at a company <clears throat> and you look at their market cap. When their market caps are up huge, like I love Amazon. Amazon is not going to be doubling anytime soon. Okay, its market cap is up as you know 1.6 trillion. Apple is 2 trillion. It's not going to be doubling anytime soon. It's going to take a very long time. This is only 2 billion, 2.25 billion has a lot of upside. Now, I was reading an article about it. I think you guys should take a look at this. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still not feeling good. Uh, unit economics are improving, which is also obviously very good. Their gross profit per order rose by 29%. We love gross profit, okay? Profit's the best thing for a company. And while Jumia is unprofitable right now, it is on the track to becoming profitable. And stuff like this, increasing 29%, it only makes it, only makes it closer to that. Now orders are more profitable. The established user base and higher ordering volume will start paying off. It's establishing itself as the brand destination of choice for brands in Africa, which is awesome. We want people staying with them. Now, another big thing. Sorry, guys. People already asked about the challenge. Guys, challenge starting soon. Make sure you guys subscribe and hop in that Discord and sign up under the link. 
Uh, so you guys can be entered in to win this big challenge. Um, but this is another thing. Jumia's pay transactions accounted for 34% of total orders and 90% of transactions over $10. So the payment volume is rising 50%, which is huge, while the on-platform penetration topped 26%. We like that. We like those numbers increasing. Like I said, it's not going to take much for this company to reach prof profitability as e-commerce increases. And it won't even need to rely on Jumia Pay to do that, monetizing it. If they do monetize it, it's only going to increase that. So based on this right now, these evaluations, um, a fair value for the company at, at its current evaluation is $30, which is, you know, it's, it's pretty close to that, sitting at $30 almost right now, $28. Um, so a little bit room to run. But we also should talk about what happens if this company increases, which I think it will, because I do think that in the future, this is a great, great winner. And if I <clears throat> were you, I would take advantage of these insane premiums that you can get on selling puts for this. So we sold, oh, we sold five. I thought we sold, only sold four. My bad. We sold five of them and we put up 14,000 in collateral. You guys don't need much at all. Let's say you only have 2,000 in your account. We go to the options chain over here. Now we're going to have to go out to probably uh, uh, May, I'd say, is a good amount. You drop it down to $20 for a put, you're going to get some good premium. $435 to only put up $2,000. That's really good. You want to do a little more risky, put up $2,500, you're getting $730. We like that premium. That's money in our pockets. You know, so if the stock, let's say the stock just stays the exact same, doesn't really do much. Okay, we just made a ton of money. Let's say the stock goes up, we made a ton of money. Let's say the stock goes down a little bit, we still make really good money. Look at our break even price, 1810. It's 28 right now. This is requiring like a 30 something percent drop in order to even get to those prices. The likelihood, very low for that, especially after two huge sell offs and a dilution. You know, the bad news is out right now. I mean, we've had. A huge sell off from $40 a share down to $28 a share. And they did dilution. So the company has $230 million in cash that they can use to make their business grow. They already did the dilution. Okay, so now we're going to see if them putting that money to use and making this company grow more and more. The more I find out about this company, the more I like it. The more I think you, sh you should take a small position in it. Okay, depending on your account size, obviously, if you, have a, you only have $2,000 in your entire account, maybe don't risk your entire account on this. But you know, see what you can do. Maybe play it if you want to wait a little bit and try to get some good percent gain. I mean, you're making 25 over 25% on your investment to sell a put on it, which is very smart. I'd recommend that a lot more than just buying shares <clears throat> outright right here. I'm not trying to hit a home run on this thing, um, but you know, with the amount of money I'm making from these premiums, it's like hitting a home run. Almost $4,000 to put up $14,000. It's very, very good. The most I can possibly lose is like 10K. And that's assuming the stock goes to zero, which obviously is not going to happen. So I like it. I think it has a lot of upside, and I think it's a wise decision to take some sort of position in some of these spec companies. Now, obviously, you know how I feel about Amazon. I love it. It's my baby. And that's why I continue to drop more and more money into this. For some reason, it's down after hours. We don't like that. But uh, I had a good day today. Um, some really, really big news on it came out, uh, opening the Mac OS. Mac OS development for the first time in AWS, which is really, really awesome. And, you know, AWS is just, it's just going to continue to grow. It's their cloud storage and it's, it's a thing of beauty. I cannot wait to see this thing. I really cannot wait to see this earnings coming up. But as you guys can clearly see, Amazon bringing us in 1500 alone today. So guys, it's a great day. It's a great day to be alive. Great day to be blessed um, to be in this market. And I hope you guys are taking advantage of some of these good opportunities that present themselves. So that's all we're doing right now. Jumia, Apple, and Amazon, and obviously CBM. Um, E-commerce technology, we like it. It's the future. We're betting on a big. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy, boys. Bye.